We will start by describing the measurement models. Interestingly, the main differences compared to earlier parts of this course are that the number of objects is time varying and that we are using random finite sets. And the measurement models haven't really changed. You should therefore already have a good understanding for how they work. What's new is that we represent measurements and objects using random finite sets. And naturally, the equations will therefore also change. On a more detailed level, another interesting difference is that the convolution formula enables us to derive the measurement model very easily. It is important to note that the measurement model has not changed, even though we now express it in terms of random finite sets. The set of measurements ZK is assumed to be the union of a set of object measurements, OK, and a set of clutter measurements, CK. All three variables are boldface to indicate that they are sets. As an example, suppose we have two objects, each detected with probability 0.95, and if detected, they generate Gaussian measurements. The Gaussian measurement densities corresponding to the two objects are illustrated using the two dashed ellipsoids in the figure. The clutter intensity is uniform over the area that we see, and the expected number of clutter measurements is two. If we look at a few samples of the set of measurements, we can see that there is usually at least one measurement in each of the two ellipsoids, possibly a measurement of the corresponding object. And we also observe a small number of other detections that are probably clutter. The purpose with this video is to present the standard model for the set of object detections OK. We use boldface GK of OK given XK to denote the distribution of OK given XK. Note that boldface GK is still just a multi-object PDF and that we've made it boldface to distinguish it from the non-boldface GK that describes the distribution of an object measurement vector given that the object has been detected. As before, we make the standard assumptions for the object measurements. For a single object, this means that an object with state x is detected with probability pd of x. If detected, it generates a measurement from the single object measurement density gk. When we have multiple objects, we simply assume that the measurements from the different objects are generated independently. To be more precise, the object measurements from a single object is assumed to be independent of all other objects, all other object measurements, as well as of the clutter measurements. Finally, we note that each measurement is the result of at most one object. In other words, we assume that objects are resolved by the sensors, such that two or more objects cannot jointly give rise to a single measurement. We will now convert these assumptions into a mathematical model. Let us start by looking at the distribution of the object measurements when we have at most one object. Even though this was not explicitly stated among the assumptions, we assume that we cannot get any object measurements unless there is at least one object present. Condition on xk being empty, the set of object measurements must therefore also be empty. That is, the probability that OK is empty is 1. Note that the set OK, given that xk is empty, is a Bernoulli random finite set with the existence probability r equals 0. As a second case, let us look at the single object measurement model. According to the assumptions, the object is undetected with probability 1 minus pd, which means that O is empty with probability 1 minus pd. With probability pd, the object is instead detected and then generates a measurement from the PDF GK. That is, if the set boldface O contains the vector O, GK takes the value pd times GK of O given x. Finally, Whenever the set O contains more than one element, the function boldface GK is zero. Given that the set XK contains a single object state X, the set of object measurements is therefore a Bernoulli random finite set with existence probability PD and spatial PDF GK. For instance, suppose the state vector X is such that PD is 0 0.85 and GK of O given X is a Gaussian density as a function of O with mean 3,2 and covariance 0.3 times the identity matrix. If we look at samples of the set of measurements, 
we can see that the set usually contains a vector, more or less close to 3,2, but that the object is sometimes undetected, which means that the set is empty. The next step is to find a model for the object measurements when there are multiple objects, and the overall result is quite easy to understand. We know that the set of object measurements from a single object is a Bernoulli random finite set. We also know that the set of measurements from the different objects are independent. The set of object measurements from a set of multiple objects is therefore a multi-Bernoulli random finite set, since it is simply the union of several independent Bernoulli random finite sets. This is the key result that we present in this video, but to describe it in more detail, it is useful to introduce some notation. Suppose xk is a set containing the state vectors xk1 to xknk. We use boldface ok of xki to denote the set of object measurements from the object with state xki. The notation OK of XKI may be a bit tricky, but you can think of it as a random finite set that generates object measurements from a single object. And before doing so, it looks at the input variable XKI to determine the probability of detection and the spatial PDF. Given the set of object states XK1 to XKNK, the set of object measurements is simply the union of the object measurements from all the different objects. Let us now try to describe the distribution of OK. First of all, the sets OK of XA1 to OK of XKNK are the object measurements from individual objects. Given the set of objects, these sets are independent. Also, since they represent the object measurements from a single object, they must be Bernoulli random finite sets distributed according to our single object measurement model which is the function boldface gk, conditioned on a set that contains a single vector xki. One thing that may be important to note here is that we use the same model boldface gk for all objects. However, since the objects have different states, the measurement distribution may still differ significantly. In theory, it's even possible to include discrete states in the state vector that may indicate if the object is a person, a car, or a truck. And clearly, that may influence the measurement distribution significantly. To obtain a compact expression for the final model, we don't want to use the notation OK of XKI, and we therefore introduce OI as a shorthand for the object detections from XKI. Using this shorthand notation, the entire set of object measurements is the union of O1 to ONK. We are finally ready to present a general model for the object measurements when the set of objects contains the vectors x1 to xnk, where I've omitted the subindex k for brevity. The distribution of the set OK, given the set of states, is now given by the convolution formula, and we sum over all combinations of disjoint single object measurements O1 to ONK, whose union is OK, of the product over all the single object measurement distributions, boldface GK, of OI, given a set that contains the vector XI. This formula actually also holds when NK is 1, even though it boils down to simply stating that GK of OK given X1 is equal to itself. It's possible that the summation over all these disjoint sets gives the equation a complicated look, but please note that this is simply the expression for a multiple random finite set. Also, in practice, we are rarely ever interested in computing the value of a distribution for a certain set. And to understand the distribution, it tends to be more informative to look at its parameters. Let us end by generating samples of object measurements when we have two objects, x1 and x2. We are again looking at a two-dimensional toy example, and the single object measurement model has a probability of detection which is 0.85, and the spatial PDF is Gaussian, with mean x and covariance matrix 0.3 times the identity matrix. In this example, we assume that we have two objects, one with state 3,2 and one with state minus 2, minus 1. The set of object measurements is the union of the measurements from the two objects, and its multi-object PDF can be expressed as follows. In the figure, we have illustrated the spatial PDF of the two Bernoulli components using dashed ellipsoids. Looking at samples from this distribution, 
we can see that we normally obtain one measurement in each ellipsoid and that the objects are occasionally undetected. If only one object is undetected, the set contains a single element, whereas the set of objects is empty if both objects are undetected.